Natasha here and welcome back to another video. Today's video is an empties. I love me a good empties video because I'd be nosy and I'd be wanting to know what people have gone through, what they finished up, and also what they don't feel like finishing up because they just gonna throw it away because it's that bad. Yes, I am nosy and I know some of y'all are like me and wanna know what I've gone through, what I'm throwing away, um, and whether I would repurchase it or not. So of course I'll be sharing my empties with you all, but first before we get into the video, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, usually Wednesdays and Saturdays, so if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell then you won't miss another upload from me so let's just go ahead get into my trash so y'all I got this big old bag y'all can't even see um of empties for whatever reason I like to keep my empties in like a Whole Foods Trader Joe's type of paper bag that's just what I've been doing I don't have no fancy box or whatever to put them in but anyways reaching in the first thing that I finished is the smooth I uh, silk deeper moisture conditioner and this is from Giovanni and this is one of my favorite cheapy conditioners um, you can get this at TJ Maxx Marshalls whatever for $12.99 this is a 33.8 fluid ounces I love to use this um, to detangle my hair with as a pre poo um, anytime I just need a like cheapy conditioner for whatever reason mostly to detangle my hair I will use this love it will continue to repurchase it over and over again I've used so many of these um, I'm waiting for it to be safe. I still, I don't, I don't know how I feel about going into TJ Maxx and Marshalls right now. But once things get better, I definitely will go back and repurchase this for sure. I will say that it does have some protein in it for those of you who are protein sensitive. It does have glycerin, but hydrolyzed soy protein is pretty high up on the list of ingredients just to let you know. But most of you know that protein doesn't really bother me, so... Definitely love this. Try it out if you haven't already. I love it. So next up is from Basque and Bloom Essentials is the Brahmi Root Hair Mask. It's only because this is one of my favorite deep conditioners and I hadn't used it in a while. And then I saw it in my stash and I'm like, why haven't I used this? I need to use it. And I used it up <laughs> within maybe the last two or three wash days. Y'all, I love this mask. It's packed full of Ayurvedic ingredients like Brahmi root, burdock root, marshmallow root, yucca root, slippery almond horsetail. It has my favorite aloe vera juice. Just so many amazing ingredients and I actually do have a backup of this that I picked up during um, Black Friday. So definitely will continue to repurchase this. It's a 12 ounce mask. It repairs and restores. And even though it says it repairs and restores, which it does, it's also very moisturizing. It has a little bit of slip because of the marshmallow and the slippery elm um so you can detangle your hair with it but I don't really rely on this to detangle my hair with but love this y'all y'all <laughs> I love this leave-in so much this is the Adro Beauty Bale Mint Leave-In Conditioning Styler. This is in the 12 ounce. I believe that Adwa has changed up their sizings that they offer and they are now available at Sephora, which kudos to them for being available in Sephora, for being sold in Sephora. Like, it is a win for the natural hair community, for the black community, for sure. So I am so happy and so proud of them. But y'all, this is one of my favorite leave-ins of all time. I know y'all hear me talk about the Main Choice 3-in-1 leave-in conditioner, which really is my favorite. But y'all, this is a close second. This is a close second. It is so moisturizing. So moisturizing. I can actually get away with using this alone a lot. Um under some gels even when I do my wash and goes it just melts into my hair the smell is amazing and I don't even really like minty smells but the smell of this is amazing it's just creamy and just it's just so amazing it's just so much moisture in your hair it's such a great base for all styles I love it I definitely will continue to repurchase this I have two more of these in my stash so 
y'all can tell I'm not gonna be without this. Love it. The next product that I have here is a deep conditioner and it is from Camille Rose. It's from the Coconut Water line. Y'all know that I really do enjoy the Coconut Water line. This is the Penetrating Hair Treatment. I will say though, this is one of the products that kind of underwhelmed, underwhelmed me. I know that a lot of people love this. They talked highly about it and in my review on this collection that I did last summer. I didn't hate this um, deep conditioner, but I didn't love it. I felt like it was more of a strengthening um, deep conditioner, which it does have protein in it. Well, let me double check before I'm up here lying to y'all. Yes, it has hydrolyzed keratin. It's more towards the bottom of the ingredients, but for whatever reason, my hair really picks up on the hydrolyzed keratin. I did, however, um, the second and third time that I tried this out, I added oil on top. Um, I didn't do it in my original review just because when I review deep conditioners, I just wanna see how it does and works on its own without adding oil, but once I know if I like it on its own, I will add oil. I definitely do like this with oil on top of it. I think it added more moisture. The oil locked in the moisture in my hair, and I really like it. It's not terrible, but will I repurchase it? It has to be on major, 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 major sale, like better than a $10 sale for me to pick it up. Um, but I just have so many other a really amazing leave-in or deep conditioners that I love that I would choose over this. So for now, I won't repurchase it, but if it's on major sale, like maybe like six or seven dollars, I would pick it up but I'm in no rush to repurchase this. Next, y'all, is by Jane Carter Solutions, which I don't really have too many of their products. Actually, I think this is their only product that I own, and it is the OG Nourish and Shine Restorative Butter. Y'all, I love this stuff. Love it so much. It took me a while to go through because a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot of this product in order to really seal in and lock in the moisture. This is a true, very true butter because there is no water in this list of ingredients. It's literally shea butter, soybean oil, jojoba seed oil, um, sunflower seed wax, fragrance, and mango seed butter, and that's it. Definitely love this. Um, it, you, it used to be available for like $11 on Target's um, website, target.com, but I think they figured out that it was a glitch and so now it's back to it's an original, original price, which is around $20. So it is expensive, but it's definitely worth it. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. I've had this same, how many ounces? Four ounce container for like a year and a half and I'm just now getting done with it but definitely love this we'll definitely repurchase this I just I, I just want to find it on sale though because it, it is expensive oh, I got hair on all of these products um, but anyways the next product that I have is from the main choice and it is their Zada Kool-Aid sweet papaya and pineapple infinite conditioner this is one of those five-in-one conditioners, multi-use. Um, it's a co-wash, leave-in, detangler, rinse out, and pre-poo. And this particular bottle, I used it as a pre-poo. I do enjoy using it as a pre-poo to help detangle my hair before I wash my hair with shampoo. And I do like to leave it in as well, but I love this. It has tons of slip. It smells amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite the main choice leave-in conditioners. I will continue to repurchase this. I already have a backup of this in my stash. Highly recommend it. Next is from one of my favorite brands. Y'all know I love me some Unicurl and this shampoo is amazing. It is one of my favorite shampoos. This is the Supreme Moisture Moisturizing Shampoo um, with Element. They may have changed the name. I know she did some um, repackaging and relabeling of products, so she may have changed the name of this. But the current package that I have, it says the Supreme Moisture Moisturizing Shampoo. Y'all, 
This thing is super moisturizing. If you like a lather, this ain't for you because this has very little to no lather, but it's so moisturizing. It does not strip your hair of its natural oils, which I love because I hate a super drying stripping shampoo. I know we need those every now and then, but you don't need it all the time. So whenever your hair doesn't need to be stripped, you can definitely use this shampoo. It has amazing ingredients like aloe vera. Y'all know that I love of aloe vera it, my hair loves it it eats it up it's one of my favorite shampoos I definitely will continue to repurchase this I have a backup in my stash already if this is y'all have seen a common thing if this is something that I love that I will continue to repurchase I probably already have repurchased and it's sitting in my stash right now from chocolate kinks and curls I finished up the bentonite cocoa cream clay wash which looks like this. I discovered these clay washes or tried them for the first time um, around the beginning of this year because I purchased them during Black Friday and I freaking love Chocolate Kinks and Curls clay washes. They're absolutely amazing. I have all four and tried all four. I do um, like the hibiscus uh, one and then also the Rasul clay one. Those are probably my two favorites but this is still amazing. So I definitely will repurchase this and highly recommend y'all try trying out Chocolate Kinks and Curls. Next up from the main choice Y'all already know what this is. It is the Cheers Gelato Gel. Love this gel. Absolutely love this gel. It gives my hair definition, but it gives it a soft hole. It's very, like, kind of, like, soupy. Um, but, and a little bit sticky, but I love it. I love to pair this with the Melanin Hair Care Cream, um, to give me a nice, super shiny, moisturized, and bouncy wash and go. I went through this super quick because I was really experimenting with it. I also like to use this with the My L Organics, um, Hawaiian Ginger, uh, Moisturizing Butter, Moisturizing Cream. I forget exactly what it's called, but I like that combined with this as well. Um, I feel like I've used this with some another cream that I just can't think of, think of off the top of my head, but I really do love this, and I actually picked up two more of these during um, the Main Choices Memorial Day sale, and I actually just got my package a couple of days ago, so I'm super, super excited to have replacements of that in my stash. So that goes ahead and answers the question of would I repurchase this? Yes, and I already did. <laughs> Speaking of the Hawaiian Ginger Collection from Myel Organics, um, I have the Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner, which looks like this, and um, it's 12 ounces. It's one deep conditioner that is actually meant to be slept in overnight, which is a very interesting concept. I know that people do that with um, just normal deep conditioners that don't really advertise it to be an overnight but this one is meant to be overnight um I really did like it it has a lot of slip um I actually didn't use it to overnight mask I did it when I first reviewed it but then after that I decided to use this as a pre-poo because it does have a lot of slip and it does work well on dry hair even though I do like it I don't think that I will repurchase it just because I feel like there's other products that I like better to pre-poo my hair with because that's the only way that I would use this product is to pre-poo but if you are interested in trying this out and don't want to um, use it as an overnight mask where you have it in your sash and it's just sitting there and you're trying to figure out what you want to do with it because you don't want to do like, you don't want to take the chance of having moisture overload, definitely try this as a pre-poo. Speaking of pre-poos, y'all, I have the curl piece, um, detangling treatment from Just For Me which looks like this but not only do I have one I have two I have three <laughs> and I have four I have four of these bad boys that are empty um y'all can tell that I obviously like these because I keep repurchasing them and I actually have uh two sitting in my stash right now one that's open that I'm currently using now y'all 
I'm going on a little rant about pre-pooing because I've mentioned a lot of other products in here that I used to pre-poo. Where I started to pre-poo early on in my natural hair journey, but then as my hair got longer, I decided to skip that step. Just because when my hair got longer, it took longer for me to do my hair. A wash day literally was a full day. And so I was trying to kind of skim down my regimen and all of the steps that I take in my wash a wash day. So I decided to get rid of pre-pooing and then I don't know why I started back, but something just told me like, go back to your roots, go back to pre-pooing y'all. And pre-pooing is so amazing. And there's so many benefits to pre-pooing. I actually plan on doing like a video where I talk about the benefits of pre-pooing, why I think everybody should be pre-pooing. But anyways, as y'all see, I pre-poo. Um, I have a review on this and I compared it to the African Pride, which I do like the African Pride, but this one is just more accessible. I know y'all are telling me um, that you can find the African Pride pre-poo in Walgreens now because before when I was looking for it, I would find everything else in that collection, but not the pre-poo. So, I like this, I like the African Pride, I like to pre-poo, but yes, I used up four of these. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I totally forgot that I went through this. This was at the bottom of my bag because I would have definitely mentioned it with the Bentonite Clay Wash from Chocolate Kinks and Curls that I just showed y'all, but this is the Rossoul Cocoa Cream Clay Wash from Chocolate Kinks and Curls. And I already told y'all how much I love the clay washes and I mentioned this as one of my favorites of the four, now five. Um, I haven't tried out the fifth one, but this is definitely one of my favorites. We'll continue to repurchase this. I just want to go through one more clay wash, um, either the hibiscus or the mint one that I have remaining. And then I'll start to repurchase my clay washes, but definitely love this. Highly recommend it. Next is from She Sent It. And this is the Passion Fruit and Flax Charcoal Scalp Detox. Y'all, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. I love that it has charcoal, and charcoal is actually um, pretty high on the list of ingredients. It's like um, midway in the list of ingredients, y'all. This thing so freaking moisturizing you can detangle your hair with this it's it's similar to the clay washes from chocolate kinks and curls but just not the same like y'all I, I don't know the words to describe it because i haven't used a product like this before but it is super amazing once you rinse it out of your hair your hair just feels so soft so moisturized it defines your curls absolutely amazing i have another one of these in my stash um this is one of those products that she sent it it doesn't do that great of a job keeping in stock in my opinion and it's because we out here buying it like hotcakes i already know but it is super amazing and once i run out of my other one especially if they have a sale i will definitely repurchase but even if they don't have a sale i will continue to repurchase this Next from Myel Organics is the Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners, especially for moisture and protein balance. Um, it's more on the lightweight, like thin side, so you can definitely use this to detangle your hair because it has tons of slip. Um, like I said, it has the perfect balance of protein and moisture in your hair, but I definitely love this. We'll continue to repurchase this. Got about two more, two or three more of these in my stash currently. I'm realizing that I went through a lot of my favorites. There's only like one or two products that I've mentioned thus far that I'm like, eh, I won't repurchase, but here is yet another one of my favorites. Y'all know. Y'all already know, this is one of my favorite deep conditioners, if not my favorite deep conditioner, it is the Mish Beauty Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. Love this, smells amazing. It moisturizes my hair like no other. I don't think I've gotten as much moisture from a deep conditioner as I do with this. It is absolutely amazing. I freaking love it. And that's all I gotta say. 
<laughs> Next is another overnight mask um, that I went through and this is from the Main Choice Prickly Pear Paradise Collection. And this is the Apply to Dry Overnight Mask, which looks like this. And y'all, the smell is amazing. I absolutely love the smell. Um, like I said, it's an overnight mask. When I first tried it out, I did use it as an overnight mask. And this mask, I think, like, if I would have used it again within a week or two overnight, I could definitely see my hair getting moisture overload. Um, because this one has a little bit more moisture to me than the Myel Organics one. But... I do like this as a pre-poo and that's what I used it as um, mostly after I tried it as an overnight mask and it works amazing on dry hair. If you don't feel like whipping out the spray bottle or nothing and you just want to just go in and start detangling your hair on dry hair, this has tons and tons and tons of slip. But with that said, I probably would not repurchase this. Um, because like I said, I got other products that I like better to use as pre-poos that are also more affordable. Um, so I don't see myself picking this up anytime soon. Like I said, it would have to be on major discount. But even then, I don't know. Like it's not terrible. I really did like it, but I could just find another pre-poo. I have other pre-poos that I like better than this. From Honey's Handmade, I have the Black Soap and Honey Avocado Co-Wash. This is one of my favorite co-washes. This is actually one of the first products that I tried from Honey's Handmade that made me um, interested and wanted to try more. This has amazing moisture, amazing slip. It defines my curls before I even deep condition. Amazing, love it, will continue to repurchase it. From Sultanicals, um, I have the Shea Ayurvedic Butter Shampoo. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I used this up such a long time ago that I'm having trouble remember if, I'm li if I like this, but I think that probably means that it's not something that I absolutely love. Um, I don't hate it, but I think I didn't love it as most people loved it. Um, I love that it has, like, amazing Ayurvedic ingredients. Um, would I repurchase this? First off, it's hard to repurchase Sultanical products. It's hard to purchase, in general, Sultanical's products. I have to go back and look at my review. I think that I actually, I don't know. Y'all, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember if I like this or not. I don't think I hated it, but I can't remember if I like absolutely loved it or not. All right, y'all, so next is another product from Ajua Beauty, and this is the Bayo Mint Deep Conditioning Treatment. Y'all, I love this, I love it. It has that same great um, protein moisture balance. It's nothing super strong or anything like that. Like, it's not like a heavy protein treatment but it like gives my hair like a little bit of strength while also adding tons of moisture love this i love all of agile beauty's products they're amazing their quality they're absolutely worth the money 110 percent like i said she's kind of changed the sizes or the ounces that are available so i don't know if there's eight ounces available anymore but i do have backups of this but once this is out i will definitely purchase that 16 ounce and a heartbeat. I don't even care if it's 30 something dollars because it is that amazing. I absolutely love this deep conditioner. All right, last but not least, and this is <laughs> like rubbed off, but it is the Style Factor Edge Booster Pomade and the Blueberry Scent. And I actually did not use this all the way up. Um, Y'all can see that there's still a lot of product in here, but I did use quite a bit. And even though I freaking love the gel, love the gel, something about the pomade, it just like crust up on my edges. Like it never, never looks good on my edges. And I tried and tried and tried this, as y'all can see, because I used to get a good amount of this, 
tried and tried and tried and tried to make this work and I just cannot get it to work. I know many of y'all love this, but I just like, I just don't, I don't. I don't know if maybe, because I'm notorious for whatever reason, leaving edge controls open. And maybe that's what happened with this one. I left it open and then after that, it just got all like dry and cakey on me um, whenever I would apply it to my hair. I might try this again. I don't know, but like, I had to throw it away because I, <laughs> I was just tired. This had me going to work looking crazy. Like I would slick down my edges kind of like how they are now, just a little bit. And have these little little white flakes and spots and y'all, I couldn't do that, so had to throw this away. All right, y'all, so that is it for my empties. I actually went through a lot of products, which I'm surprised because I've been trying out a lot of different products and giving out reviews. And so when I do that, it is kind of hard to use up my stash, but I'm actually very proud of all the products that I was able to show y'all that I was able to get through. I am continuing to try to get through some other products as well so that y'all can get another empties video in maybe like two or three months. But yes, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know if you saw any of your favorites. Um, just let me know. Just talk to me down below in the comment section. But that is it for this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And until next time, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.